Hi guys and girls, today I'm going to talk about a number of books that I found worth reading. All the books will be linked in the description and a lot of the opinions are my own real thoughts. I am the kind of person that will just sit there and read a good book without being distracted. And before we get started, I would like to show you guys how I take notes when reading. I use a notebook so I could jot down some quotes from the books I read and to keep track on how many books I read. This is how the content on my reading wish list look like. I keep track of the page numbers so I would know where everything is. I also write down books that I want to read so I could check them off after reading them like a to-do list. It helps me to organize my notebook as well. Since I also read books about graphic designs and art, the notes you want to take is probably based on a photo. You could print them off after taking a photo of it. I would doodle around the title of a page to make it more interesting. The trick is to take inspiration from the book cover. Here comes the book recommendations. I divided them up into two categories, one is in English, one is in Chinese. Some of the Chinese books are originally in English, it's just that I read it in Chinese. All the books are fiction, but I might do a book recommendation video for only non-fiction books. I wrote what the books are about on the screen so you could get an idea of what they're like. They're all very inspiring and motivational. You might have heard of some of these before and just never had the time to read them. These are all really good books, at least I find them inspiring, and you should totally get into some of them that you are interested in. The Im these images might go a little too fast, but you could always pause the video and take your time to read them. I also put some of the quotes from the books, as you can see in the yellow fonts, so you can have a better idea for what to expect. These images are all taken by myself, except the book covers, because I don't have them in hand, and I usually borrow books from the library. All the quotes go in from the introduction of the books, just so you know. Just something to add that I always choose the books that have nice covers to read, just because I feel better when around aesthetic things. Hope that's not weird at all. I also like to read poetry because I find them really relatable. Here comes the Chinese books. Now, if you're not Chinese or can't read it, obviously exit the video, and thank you for sticking with me for the past few minutes. As I said, some of the originals are in English, so you could search out the English version if you want. I put all the English names and introductions as well. One of these is not fiction and I forgot to mention, but it's still very interesting to me, although some people might find them boring. The books that I'm showing in the videos are the ones that I bought myself, and I bought them because I think they're worth it and I could read them over and over again. This video was not that long, but I still hope that you enjoyed it and would actually switch off your electronic devices and find something to read. Reading could be quite peaceful because it's the only thing that you're focusing on. Anyways, thank you and stay tuned for my next video. This channel is only for fun and all I need you guys to do is enjoy.